Banana? 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 Banana! <laughs> you may have heard that Google's new image model, Gemini Image Flash, aka Nano Banana, just dropped and it's supposed to be really good. But is it? To find out, I decided to drop the model into my Decorate with Convex project. And if you didn't catch my first video on this project three months ago, oh, and it's done. Let's have a look. Oh, <laughs> it is classy. <laughs> well, shame on you. But the idea is really simple. Actually, let me just show you. Okay, so we can press this button here to take a photo. And let me just turn around, take a photo of the back of the wall here. And click use photo. And then while that uploads, we can go into the image prompt here and say, please add some shelves with stuff on. All right, and then generate. And just wait a minute or so. And there we have it uh, generated the image. And we can flip back to uh, original and then decorated. And if we want to, we can add more prompt and we click regenerate and we can choose either the original or the decorated. This is cool, but there are some issues with the existing model, which is the OpenAI's GPT image model. Firstly, it takes a very long time to generate the image. I mean, I counted between 30 seconds and sometimes several minutes. It also seems to always generate this kind of cartoony like aesthetic, which is not exactly what you want for like a, a decorating type of app. You're kind of more expecting like a photo experience. Also note that it's kind of zoomed in the image here. I've noticed that it does this quite frequently. It sort of zooms it in and, and changes the aspects and moves things around when it shouldn't do. Yeah, it's not great. So what I added was the new model from Google. So let me change it in the settings here. Now let's try asking the same thing. I want some shelving with some things on it. And bam, much faster. Generally, I find that this takes like less than 10 seconds to generate an image. And note that it hasn't zoomed in the image or changed things around. And we don't have that weird cartoony effect that we were seeing on the OpenAI model. And also uh, it works much better when you are adding extra things to the image and you want to change something else. So let's ask it to add some bananas because why not? Okay, so it's faster, it adheres to the input better and retains that nice photo look. There's got to be some sort of catch, right? It's, it's going to cost more, yeah? Well, actually this is kind of surprisingly difficult to work out due to conflicting info both on OpenAI and the Google side. For the OpenAI side, let's take this page and let's use this model input token cost at $10 per million and output cost at $40 per million. And let's say we're going to generate in medium quality and ignore whatever the prices are that are listed here that I don't understand. And if we do that, then I estimate that the cost to generate one image in Decorate with Convex using OpenAI's model is about 6.6 .6 cents. And then conversely, on the Google side, if we take these values from the announcement post that state $30 per million output tokens, and this value from the API pricing, pricing page which state 30 cents per million input tokens, which doesn't sound right, but anyway, and we ignore whatever this output price is here, then I calculate the cost to be about 3.9 cents per image generated in Decorated Convex, which is about 40% cheaper than the uh, OpenAI alternative, which is very impressive given all the other improvements that this particular model has over the OpenAI version. Don't forget though, Google is labeling this model as preview, so these prices may well fluctuate in the future. Anyway, that's about it for me for today. Very quick video. If you would like to check out this project and check out the new model in it, then I've left a link to it down below, including the source code if you'd like to see how I, I built it. Oh, and while you're down there, I would love it if you'd leave me a like, sub, and maybe a comment just to feed the algorithm. Thank you. Until next time, thanks for watching. Cheerio.